Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shaghil and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. It's going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic language learners. As you can see, I'm wearing my face mask. I don't even know if we should wear them or not. Different sources say different things, so I thought I'm going to wear it anyways. So I'm wearing my face mask. I'm going to go out for a walk. So I thought I can take you with me for a very beautiful walk in the streets of London because London is so pretty when it's empty. I know it's sad that it's empty, but I'm sure it's going to come back to being vibrant. But meanwhile, we can enjoy the calm London, the quietness in it that we rarely see. It's so, so beautiful when it's empty. So I'm going to take you with me to see the streets, um, the shops, the restaurants and, and the parks. I'm not breaking the rules because here in the UK, we are allowed to go out once a day to exercise, either to walk or to run. So I'm trying to do this at least every other day to keep myself uh, fit and sane. I do it for 30 minutes, sometimes up to one hour. So come with me, let's go for a walk. I'm going to turn my camera and go downstairs to start the walk. But before that, let me say I'm wearing my face mask. And I lipsy. الكمامة, the mask. Lebis is the masculine form. Lipsi is the feminine form. I'm not using here a verb, just like you do in English, I am wearing. No, I'm using a participle. And the literal meaning of lebis is wearer, the person who wears. That's masculine. And lebsi would be feminine. So when I say I am the wearer of the mask, I mean I am wearing a mask. So, ana lebsi الكمامة. Or ana lebis if you're a guy, el kememe. I can also say ana lebse mask because that's how we say it in Lebanon. We use mask instead of mask because that's how you say it in French. So ana lebse kememe or ana lebse mask. And if you're a guy, you say ana lebis kememe or uh, ana lebis mask. Let's begin. So ana hella uselta madriste. I arrived to my School, وصلت ع مدرسة هيدي مدرسة الجرس عم بيرن الجرس the bell عم بيرن is ringing الجرس عم بيرن so uh, مدرسة is school مدرسة is my school and مدرسة رأس is dance school I will say this is my second home. Haida Beit Tene. This is my second home. Haida Beit Tene. Bije Lahun. Bije Lahun. I come here. Ta'riban Kilium. Almost every day. Bije Lahun. Ta'riban Kilium. As you know, I love dance. I don't know if you know. Anaktir Bhebir Ra'is. I love dance very much. أنا كتير كتير بحب الرأس I love dance شوفوا هالسعدين Look at this monkey شوفوا هالسعدين So سعدين is monkey I said هالسعدين I'm saying this monkey I'm literally actually saying this the monkey هالسعدين بس pronounced as هالسعدين وهيدا أوتيل كتير حلو من جوا كتير حلو from inside it's very very beautiful so هيدا أوتيل كتير حلو من جوا اللوبي تبعه كتير حلو I'm saying it's lobby is very beautiful اللوبي تبعه that's how you say it. the lobby of it اللوبي تبعه كتير حلو next time I'm here I can show you from inside i like to go there as well um, because sometimes when i'm doing lessons with my students we come have a coffee here and we do the lesson inside which is very nice so every place that i'm showing you guys is usually full of people and when i say full in london is quite crazy how crowded streets can be sometimes people are on top of each other and we don't have even space to move or walk and now seeing this contradiction is quite um, new <laughs> different shocking but it's also beautiful I 
I'm gonna take you to very nice places. I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite gardens too. So let me say this in Arabic. Rah ikhid kun. Rah ikhid means I will take. Rah ikhid kun means I will take you. Rah ikhid kun. A means to. Rah ikhid kun a. I'm gonna say hadith, but that's gonna sound a bit strange. Hadith means garden or park. Hadith means my garden because we just say park. رح أخذكن على البارك. I would say it this way. رح أخذكن على البارك اللي بحبه. I will take you to the park that I like. رح أخذكن على البارك to the park. رح أخذكن على البارك اللي بحبه. يلا خلينا نروح. I'm gonna turn my camera off for a second to get there. Okay. Hey, the Kamen Hadia Kbire. This is also a big garden or park. Hey, the Kamen Hadia Kbire. Wahilwe. And also beautiful. Hey, the Kamen Hadia Kbire. Wahilwe. Or I can say, Hey, the Kamen Park. Because I use park as a masculine word, but Hadia as a feminine word. So, Hey, the Park. Hello. And hey, the Hadia. Hello. Let me try to show you. And come closer. شوفوا شو حلو هالباب مزين بزهور. I said look how beautiful is this door. It's decorated with flowers. شوفوا which means look in the plural form. شوفوا شو حلو look how beautiful it is. شوفوا شو حلو هالباب this door. شوفوا شو حلو هالباب مزين مزين means decorated مزين بزهور. I'm saying decorated. B with الزهور the flowers but instead of pronouncing it مزين بالزهور I have to say مزين بالزهور decorated with flowers and that's Italy's flag so هيدا علم إيطاليا هيدا Alam, Alam is a flag, and Italia is the country, of course, Italia. So, Taliene is the nationality. We remember a while ago when I said Matam Taliene, so that's an Italian restaurant, but Italia is the name of the country. Wuhayda Kamen Alam al Ittihad al Europe, and this is also the flag of the European Union. So, al Ittihad al Europe. That's European Union. Il Ittihad Il Europe. So in Arabic, the way you say it is the Union, the European, which means the European Union. And I said, Wuhayda Kamen, this is also Wuhayda Kamen, Alam, flag, Il Ittihad Il Europe. So I didn't say the flag of, in the, in the way you say it in Arabic is flag of the. Union, the European. Hey, the Kamen, Alam, El Ittihad El Europe. So uh, when I was saying Europe, that came from my standard Arabic language because in standard Arabic we say El Ittihad El Europe with the E sound. In Lebanese we say El Ittihad El Europe. We have a tendency to use a lot of that E sound. It's a bit difficult to not touch your face when you're wearing the mask. It's actually true, I was hearing that on the media, but then I realized that when I wear it, it actually makes me want to touch my face a lot. So let's try not to put our hands on our face. Let me say that in Arabic. I'm going to say, 
ايدنا عوجنا وي شودنت بوت اور هاند اون اور فيس ما لازم لازم از وي ماست اور وي شود اور جست ماست ات كان بي اي ماست اور يو ماست ات دوزنت ماتر سو لازم از ماست ما لازم از وي شودنت اور وي ماست نوت ان ذس كيس بيكوز اي سيد ما لازم نحط نحط از وي بوت اور وي بليس ما لازم نحط وي شودنت بوت or we shouldn't place in this case it's, it's we shouldn't put ما لازم نحط ايدينا or ايدنا ايدنا is our hand ايدينا is our hands ما لازم نحط ايدنا or ايدينا عوجنا on our face عوجنا okay let me repeat the sentence ما لازم نحط ايدينا عوجنا or ما لازم نحط ايدنا عوجنا let me show you one final look of this big park and square i hope i'm recording okay and my hand is not shaking so much because it's actually quite cold and my hand feels like it's frozen So I'm gonna say ide mjelde. Ide mjelde. Mjallad is the masculine form of frozen, mjallad. And mjelde is actually the feminine form of frozen. And the word eid is a feminine word, so that's why I used a feminine adjective with it. So that's ide mjelde. My hand is frozen. Ide mjelde. My hand is frozen. This is one of my most, most, most beautiful places, favorite places of London. This square and this street. So, yeah. So let's also say this is Britain's flag. Hey, the alam Britannia. This is the flag of Britain. Hey, the alam Britannia. This is the flag of Britain. Oh my God! Usually there would be water here, and for the first time they turned it off. People come here and take photos with this place because it has lights. and water comes out but sadly now it's the first time ever in my life i see this place with no water which is sad but it's okay it's not so sad it's gonna come back i'm just gonna keep quiet enjoy the views And this is a hotel, Haida Hotel. And we say also Fundo. Fundo is a hotel. But we usually use hotel more. Haida Temsil. This is a statue, as I said earlier. And I'm very close to the garden that I told you about. It's a garden of a church. Um, I'm gonna say he is Nainit Knise. I said literally she is a garden of a church. He is Nainit Knise. So the word Nainit on its own doesn't have a Temar. Uh, uh, sorry, it has a Temar Buta, but we don't pronounce it. We just say Nainit. We don't say Nainit. But when it's followed by Another noun in this case, knise, which is a church. I don't say jnaine knise. I say jnainit knise, which means um, 
a garden of a church. So basically, the way we say something of something is in, Ar in Arabic is by simply putting those two words next to each other. In this case, I said Jnainit Knise. I'm literally just saying garden church, which means the garden of a church. This is the photo of Jesus Christ. This is Or the painting, actually. What I love about this garden is that every bench here has a, has a story. So, let me show you. Each one has something written on it and it just makes you nostalgic about something that you never even experienced because everything has a story here. So let's see here. In memory of Gloria Pinzen, who loved the Farm Street Church and the gardens. So somebody used to come here and used to love these gardens. I'm going to find another bench. All of them have a story, but let's see this one, what it says. Presented in memory of Rose Hoeing, who spent many happy hours in the garden. It's funny, right? People come and go, they spend time in a place, they leave, and then they just leave memories. And we see the memories through their stories, which is nice. These are green windows. Shibik is in the singular form, shibik, and in the plural form we say shbebik. So, these are green windows. More and more and more benches with more stories. If I spot an interesting story, I'm going to tell you. So let's see, from Connie and Jim Walter, to whom these gardens are a very special place, Wedded Farm St. Church, July 10th, 1983. 83, that's a long time ago. So it seems like many people liked this garden. Let's say that in Arabic. There are lots of people. There are lots of people who liked or who loved this garden. And I am one of them. There is a nice story on one of the benches. I don't know how, how, my, how am I going to find it now while recording. Um, but I am looking to the right while recording. Let's see this one, what it says. In loving memory of Joe Blage, 1910 and 1990, an American who could not find a park like this in New York City. With all the madness going in the world nowadays, coming to an empty place in, uh, in the heart of a very busy city like London is, is a very nice blessing. And I hope I'm transferring this blessing to you. I remember someone was talking about meeting their spouse here or something on one of the benches. I wish I could find it so I can show it to you. It was somewhere here. Um, well, I'll find it maybe. Oh yeah, look! 
in the treasured memory of my darling husband, Franny Daniels, 2510-1910, and then 1502-1992. His business was in Mount Street. Together we shared the secret garden forever and always and all eternity. Your Shella. Strange how people come and go, as I said. And the famous telephone booth. Oh, let's say in Arabic, this is a library. This is a library, by the way. Heide Maktabe. Heide Maktabe. Heide Maktabe. And there is a tiny difference between the words Maktab and Maktabe. Uh, maktab is an office. And Maktabe is... There is someone, I think, in the booth. Haram. So, Maktab is an office and Maktabe with a temarbuta is a library. When you add the temarbuta, that becomes a library. So, Maktab, office, Maktabe, library. And look. 1894 that's how old it is wow i think it's enough for now this walk with you i enjoyed it i'm gonna continue walking a little bit and clear my mind like for example look how old this building is it says 1893 as well it's a long number but let me say it for those of you who know numbers a little bit but for those of you who don't know numbers well it's okay one day we can have a full lesson on numbers so if I want to say 1893 that's 1893 that's how you say it and three and ninety. You see how we say numbers in, in Arabic? We add an and 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 it in between. Alf foot min me you three thousand and eight hundred and three and ninety. That's how you say it. And I see Egypt's flag. Uhaida Alam Musr. Uhaida this Alam flag Musr Egypt. Haida Alam Musr. And this is Egypt's flag. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this very, very, very unique walk in London. I'm saying unique because it's really something that won't happen a lot. Hopefully it won't happen a lot, actually. And it's something that is very rare to find these places empty and, you know, with barely a few people walking so yeah i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed it and i will see you tomorrow in another lesson i send you my warmest warmest regards and stay safe always lots of love bye